Good day, my name is Mark Malore. I'm with the Malore Law Firm. I'm here today to talk to you about corporations and corporate formation. Many times I be, I'm asked by my clients, why should I pay you a, an attorney rate to form my corporation when I go online and I see I can form a corporation for two or three hundred dollars uh, plus costs or, or go to someone else, pay a hundred dollars plus costs. What is the difference in terms of service and, and, um, and, and activities that I'm getting? So I wanted to explain some of the differences and some of my experience with my clients in terms of clients that do their own and then come to me afterward or, or clients that, that come to me initially to form the corporation. One of the reasons to form a, a corporate entity is obviously twofold. One, to give you protection in the case of uh, liability or the case of a lawsuit. You don't want them going after your personal assets like your home, uh, your bank accounts, your retirement funds, things like that. So. Um, forming a corporate entity helps insulate you in, in case of a lawsuit uh, and secondarily one of the issues with the corporate formation depending on what type of corporation you form whether it's a C Corp or S Corp is the uh, tax implications from forming a corporation. You form a corporation there's some deductibility of certain expenses that's not deductible if you were running a sole proprietorship so you want to look at those two issues personally, but from the standpoint of what you get from an attorney, either myself or someone close by you uh, to form your corporation for you or you doing yourself, I think the biggest thing is many times I find that clients that form their own corporation doing it as cheap as possible, thinking they're, they're getting uh, the kind of protection they need, end up receiving whatever they receive from the service in the mail if they paid a little extra to get a corporate kit which includes a stamp, stock certificates, copy of your bylaws and, and a statement of information, things like that. Uh, what happens is they put, <clears throat> they put that corporate kit on the bookshelf after they get it and they think all is well and good and they, they move forward in doing whatever businesses that they're doing until the point that they receive a lawsuit in the mail or they get served personally with a lawsuit and then the implications of them putting it on the shelf hit home. The problem with forming a corporation is that you have to keep up with the corporate formalities in order to keep the corporate entity uh, solid, keep it uh, secure, and get the protections under California law that you would get with the corporate formation. If you put that corporate kit that you received in the mail after you paid $100 uh, plus cost perhaps for doing that, you put it on the shelf, you're not keeping up with your corporate formalities and many times I find that people don't understand exactly what's involved in a corporate corporate entity or what's required to keep up with your corporate formalities in order to keep the corporate entity functioning and valid under California law. And so as a result, what ends up happening in a lawsuit, they try to uh, enact corporate protection uh, from liability and they're unable to because what happens is they haven't been keeping up with the corporate formalities and the, the plaintiff in the case uh, does something called pierce the corporate veil. I'm sure many of you have heard that term before. When they do that, they're able to go after your personal assets and get behind the corporate structure uh, to you directly. And so if you haven't kept up with your corporate formalities, uh, they're able to do that. Many times I find that's the case for people that do them on their own because they don't know exactly what's involved. I think when you have an attorney start your corporation, one, they know what particulars to, to do, to look out for, to register with the Secretary of State, and they know how to keep up your, with your corporate formalities to notify you what needs to be done and to make sure that those are kept up so that you can utilize the, the corporate formation and the corporate enterprise to protect you in case of a lawsuit in the future. If you have some questions about uh, starting a corporation or you've already started one and you haven't kept up with your corporate formalities for a year or two or even longer and you want to do something uh, about that, feel free to give me a call. Uh, uh, you can call me at 951-222-2100 or you can reach us on our website, malorelawfirm.com and I'd be happy to set up a consultation with you to go over your particular situation. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.